Good day viewers, Biostem here with yet another Fallout 4 tips and tricks video for structure building in Fallout 4. Oops, I said Fallout 4 twice. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be a more traditional sort of uh, guard tower or outpost. Now this one first version that I'm going to show you uh, is more for aesthetic purposes. It's not really going to provide extra defense uh, unless you specifically outfit it that way. So uh, like with many of my builds, I placed the first block uh, ahead of time. In this case, it's actually the shack stairwell because this is going to be a very compact uh, kind of structure. So um, I'm going to just try to make it look uh, very kind of uh, thrown together. So I'm going to go to walls. I'm going to put the doorway. Oops. I'm going to put the doorway here. Just looking to trade a little. snap in the front there and then I'm just gonna go to one of my go-to walls the small wall here I'm gonna put that on each side and can I get the snap there we go and on the top layer here I'm going to go to my old standby, which is the shack wall with roof that has sort of only the half wall so that you can return fires from it while still getting some cover. I can get snap. Come on. There we go. And again, I'm going to use the open corners. Sometimes you kind of have to look down in order to get it to snap. And then I uh, don't want to forget, because uh, I forgot <laughs> the two roof sections in the very top floor of the airplane hangar down there. I put them in after the video is filmed, but I'm going to put a roof here. And um, what I like about this is it's more compact, and you can place gun turrets here, 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 and here to get uh, coverage in all directions. And uh, you could even throw a, a sleeping bag or two up here. Um, like if you play survival mode, you can you could take the entire structure. You hold down the interact button and uh, you'll select everything. You just make sure it's far enough away from other stuff so it doesn't tag it as well. But you could like, for instance, place it right here by the entrance to Sanctuary Hills. And uh, you could throw a sleeping bag up here so that if you were playing survival mode, you could easily come back up here you know, do a, get a save in and be done with it. Um, if you want to be a little fancier, maybe you'll put a stairway there to give it a little bit smoother of a transition. You could even put a door in if you wanted, but I don't think that's necessary. And uh, so you have a nice uh, overlook where with the potential of adding a bunch of defense by putting some gun turrets in there. Uh, on a few of these, what I've done, just to kind of give it a nice look, is I've actually put, uh, in some of the other characters, I've actually put the strobe, the uh, strobe light, into the roof. I don't have enough materials here, but I've actually put a strobe light in the center of the roof here, so that way... Uh, it kind of flashes like a like a guard post uh, would, but uh, you can see it's pretty compact, uh, not quite as small as this uh, guard station, but it it's a little bit more uh, shelter, uh, 
little better protection from enemy fire. Um, and uh, you can see how using this method you could build this on top of another structure to kind of give you like uh, almost like how a prison would have guard towers in different locations. Simple to do, pretty effective, um, especially if you add some gun turrets. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and remember, an informed gamer is a happy gamer. Have a good day.